The BMW M340i in my books has always ranked among the finest driver's cars you can buy. This is the most powerful car to be made in India. This is also the ultimate expression of BMW's ultimate driving machine ethos. A sweet six-cylinder engine, great handling, it has X-Drive yet you can play around with it. It also is the most dynamically sorted amongst all the 3 Series, especially considering now all the regular 3 Series is only available with the long wheelbase. So how different is the M340i from the 320LD? That's what we are going to find out in this video. But before we go ahead, don't forget to give us a shout out and let us know in the comments what you think about BMW's strategy of only offering the long wheelbase 3 series for the 320D and the 330i. Also, do you like the 340i? Let us know in the comments. We start with the M340i and for obvious reasons, it's not every day that we get our hands on an M car. Okay, this is not a full-blown M car. This is not an M3 slash M4. But this is that in-between step between the regular 3 Series and full-blown M cars. And in an Indian context, with the roads being what they are, this is actually a little bit more usable than your full-blown M cars. This engine is an absolute peach. 3-litre, 6-cylinder, turbocharged. It makes 369 bhp, 500 newton meters of torque. And it also sounds good. Got on a gear, got on two gears. It sounds good. Now, there is also an exhaust burble that has been engineered in. I'm sure this is an artificial exhaust burble. And it mostly comes from the left side of the car. So the first time I thought there was maybe a suspension rattle. But if you can hear it, we'll switch to the GoPro audio just so that you can hear it. Can you hear that? An exhaust burble has been engineered in. It only happens when you're in the Sport Plus mode, but that is a cool touch. And then you floor it and this engine sounds good. Really good. And of course, when you floor it, this car moves. This much power is actually enough. Enough for everything that you will do on Indian roads. It makes this 3 Series quick, entertaining, properly fun to drive. You buy a 3 Series because you enjoy driving. And this <laughs> really delivers on that. properly entertaining and of course it has a chassis that can handle all of that now the m340i for india it gets x drive that is all wheel drive you can't get it only with rear wheel drive but with x drive also you can make this play this is such a hoot to drive you can throw it around chuck it into corners get on the gas get the tail to come out even though it's four-wheel drive, it feels more rear biased. And it's so playful. We're not throwing this car sideways today because we don't have the right corners to do that. But the earlier 340i that came to India pre-facelift, we have thrown it sideways. And here are some gratuitous sideways shots of that 340i when we first tested it two years ago. So this M340i is the facelift, the LCI, Life Cycle Impulse, as BMW calls it. What does it get? It gets the new headlamps, new tail lamps. I prefer the LED graphics on this compared to the earlier 3 Series, the pre-facelift. 
Also now, you get a more aggressive de-chromed grille on the M340i which contrasts with the chrome that you get on the regular 3 series. And that brings me to the point, when you de-chrome the grille, when you blacken it out, it looks so much nicer. And that just tells you that there is no real reason to highlight that grille. But anyway, that's a different matter. BMW probably knows their customers better, but I prefer this grille. All blacked out, it makes it look a little bit sinister, and that's what you want from a 3 Series. The 3 Series, in any case, has always been a very attractive looking car. That only gets better with the small changes on this. But the big change is the wheel size. It has now gone up to 19 inch wheels. If you recall, when the earlier 340i came in, we criticized it for the fact that it ran the same wheels as a regular 3 Series. We said at least the wheels could have been upsized and that's what they've done now. So now the stance is better. It sits on those wheels nicer. It looks more meaty, more punchy. But you will still need a proper enthusiast to make out that this is a more potent 3 Series compared to the other 3 Series. For the regular masses, this looks like yet another 3 Series. But for the enthusiasts, for those who know, they will know and they will give you respect. Now, the downside to these larger wheels, and I know we've been screaming, oh, we want bigger wheels, bigger wheels. But the downside to this is that the ride has become stiffer. So now even small ripples in the road are enthusiastically communicated to you in the cabin. You feel everything. It's not uncomfortable, but it is borderline there. You have to keep an eye out on the road surface and the road surface conditions because this does throw you around and the city, mm, you do feel the firmness. This is back to the old days of the 3 Series when everything was tight and firm and hard. This is back there. I'm not complaining, but I'm not a big fan either. In terms of usability, this has taken one step back, but would I take the 19s over the 18s? Definitely. It just makes the car look so much better and I think the trade-off is well worth it. And there is the other factor that this is a performance car. So it should feel like a performance car. No point having a performance car that rides like a Rolls Royce. It makes no sense. So this always tells you that this is a fast car and it tells you to give it respect. Now with this facelift to the 3 Series, here's what all you get on the M340i. First things first, you get this huge curved display, which really is very, very well executed. It immediately raises the cabin a couple of notches, not one, but a couple of notches. In fact, this cabin can now legitimately compete with the C-Class and the C-Class is a baby S, a very nice cabin. But this curved display, it just raises the bar for the 3 Series, raises the game completely. What BMW have also done away with is the physical gear lever. So now you get this toggle kind of switch. And what that does is open up the space around the center console. So it is a bit more airy. Visually, it seems a bit more airy. Now swap to the 340i from a regular 3 Series and more people have driven a regular 3 Series compared to the M340i and you immediately notice the sporty intent. It starts with the seats. These seats are different from that of the regular 3 Series. They are more sporty, it's got firmer bolstering, it's got firmer cushioning. You grab the steering wheel and it is fatter, more meaty. It just communicates that M intent. And of course, there are M badges staring at you from all over the place. So M badge staring at you from the digital display, M badge staring at you from the steering wheel. So it tells you that this is a proper M car. I think you can also option M stitching on the seat belts, which is a cool touch and I definitely think you should do that. But apart from that, this is the 3 Series that we know and we so, so love. The chassis is just so well sorted, beautifully communicative, a hoot to throw around corners. This is a fun to drive benchmark, a thrill of driving benchmark. Nothing at this price point comes close. You have the A35 AMG, that really is its only rival. And this has got better ground clearance, better ride comfort, more usability, 
and more performance. So clearly, if you want an enthusiastic car at under a crore of rupees, the M340i is our pick. But this story is also about how the M340i compares with the regular, which is now the long wheelbase 3 series. So first things first, the ride is stiffer, but the balance is better sorted. So there is less of that float, less of that wallow that you get with the long wheelbase. The long wheelbase also has the softened suspension and that is evident when you go over bumpy roads, over lumpy roads. But as this, it stays planted. Of course, it does move around, throw you around a bit, but it stays planted. It doesn't have that float doesn't make you upset in the pit of your stomach. Your back complains more than your stomach does. The dynamic integrity of this platform, that shines in the M340i. The 3 Series is now corrupted. Let's be honest about it. In softening it, in making it more usable, and giving it more leg space, it has been corrupted. This is purity. This is what the 3 Series engineers wanted to do, and this is the best way to experience what a 3 Series can do. But of course, in daily driving, you will prefer the 320LD or the 330LI for that matter. And that's what we are going to jump into now. Swap from the N340i into the 3 Series, the regular 3 Series, this is the 320LD and the first thing that you notice is that it's a little bit more comfortable. Starts with the seats. The seats are wider, they are less supportive, they hug you a little less, but they also feel better suited to daily driving. Then the colour scheme. This makes the cabin seem more airy and the cabin is more airy. So the long wheelbase, because of the 100mm increase in the wheelbase, there is more space at the rear. And with the 3 Series, you can now legitimately be chauffeured around in it. In the earlier 3 Series, the regular wheelbase 3 Series, if you're being chauffeured in it, enthusiasts would just look at you and laugh because that car was a little cramped at the back, plus the suspension was stiff. But with this 3 Series, the Grand Limousine, the suspension is softer, ride compliance is better. So you enjoy driving and also you enjoy sitting at the back. It's one of those rare cars that lets you have your cake and eat it too. Then again, in terms of the space, you have this panoramic sunroof. So it again makes the cabin feel and seem more airy. The rear seats have those soft cushions on the headrest. So that also adds to the plushness factor. So overall, this really is actually pretty good. You also get M badges on the regular diesel 3 Series. Now, I think that's silly. That's overplaying the M hand, but you do get it. So now I'll just tell you about it. You get this M logo staring at you from the steering wheel. This steering wheel is as fat and as meaty as the M340i. Again, what sense? There should be more differentiation. You get some more M badges around, but this has that big chrome grille. This is not the oversized grille that the M4, for instance, has. But when you compare this chromed toothy grille to that on the 340i, which is de-chromed, doesn't that 340i look so much nicer? And then you place the two side by side, the 340i and the 320LD. You immediately make out the increase in length of the 320LD. Compared to the 340i, you have 5mm increase in ground clearance on this 3 series, and that means you can drive it around in the city without worry. You don't have to worry about the speed breakers, about the potholes, it will not touch anywhere. In fact, you can put four people in the car and still it will not touch. So that way it's pretty sorted for our Indian conditions. It also has what BMW calls the rough road package, which is the suspension setting that is thrown onto all the cars that go to third world countries and ours in terms of our roads is definitely third world, especially the roads around in our city, the old terrible roads. And that's why the softer suspension, the taller springs, that works really well in these conditions. So over these slightly bumpy roads, it rides really well. It goes through comfortably and it handles. You can go a little harder and faster into corners than you thought possible and it will still grip. 
the steering is lighter in terms of the assist but it still gives you feedback so it's still alert it is still agile if you compare it with its rivals for instance the a4 the a4 is only front wheel drive and definitely that is not going to float your boat especially if you are an enthusiast the 3 series is rear wheel drive and the diesel on the 3 series is a strong diesel engine but the 3 series even in the long wheelbase guys has slightly better handling especially because the suspension can absorb these mid corner bumps and not get thrown around and it definitely has better ride comfort so the 3 series actually is the best of both worlds but as the 3 series rides over these lumpy roads you do feel that float that vagueness to the suspension that vagueness to the body control that feels significantly different from the 3 series so there's more vertical movement there's less of that tight body control that you get in the 340i there is more movement overall step back to 8 tenths and it is all pretty well sorted this is a great car to cruise around in effortless and this diesel man this diesel has always been an excellent motor i'm pushing the car to 8 tenths not pushing it really hard it's doing 3000 rpm 80 km per hour and you cannot hear the engine at all it's superbly silent give it a little gas and there is a faint diesel rumble but that's about it otherwise the engine is just superbly refined it's one of those great diesel engines that we will miss once the internal combustion engine is killed off and the first engine to be killed off will obviously be the diesel engine the petrols will still have some amount of life left in them and the other big benefit of diesel is that we've been driving the 340i and this 320 ld back to back we've done over 600 700 kilometers over the past two days and we've had to fill the 340i two times already two full tanks have already gone into the 340i the 320 ld still has 200 kilometers of range left on its first tank full so it gives you so much more fuel efficiency but also it gives you that massive range so you can probably do bombay to delhi in two tankfuls of fuel max why probably you can do bombay to delhi in two tankfuls less than two tankfuls will get you there this 2 liter diesel engine it makes 188 bhp 400 newton meters of torque 0 to 100 in 7.6 seconds and of course it is only rear wheel drive no x drive on this makes no sense like why would you need x drive on something like this so the performance gap is huge between the 320 ld and the 340i in fact the gap in performance between the 330 li and the 340i is also quite a bit and so it should be it would be weird if these cars match the 340i so the 340i straight and acceleration is much more and then when you go around corners the 340i is so much faster around corners you have to be a little bit more attentive and alert in the 340i because the suspension is stiffer and it gets thrown around by bumps because there's only that much compliance that is there in the dampers but it flies around corners whereas the 320ld it has that float it, it it does this so there's constant movement to it bumps are being absorbed but it's also making the body move around so that is constantly there you have to drive the two back to back and that's when you realize the differences that the long wheelbase makes over the regular wheelbase the compromises that have to be baked into the long wheelbase over the regular 3 series the grand limousine also gets all the updates that were applied onto the lci so you get this curved screen which really is a fabulous piece of digital theater you get a ton of features on it wireless apple carplay wireless android auto the carplay display is the largest i've seen on any car it's massive and it takes the whole width of that screen so it looks brilliant google maps never looked as good it gets the reverse parking assistant so the last 50 meters that you've driven before switching it off it will remember that and you press that button and it will reverse back in the same direction it's got this lovely harman kardon sound system 
the fit finish quality is all top notch there's nothing that you can complain about nothing that you can point fingers at and say ah oh, i wish this could have been better everything is perfect on the 3 series i think it looks also really good okay you put it back to back with the 340i and then it looks a little longer and not as proportionate but view it in isolation and this 320 ld the grand limousine still looks so good nice clean neat lines everything is just so well sorted a proper beautiful piece of design perfectly executed so in the final analysis should you buy the m340i over the 320 ld now i asked this hypothetical question for the simple reason that the price gap between the two is not much the 320 ld cost 58.9 lakh rupees and the 340i is at 69.2 lakh rupees in fact the price of the 340i even with the facelift hasn't gone up so they've held the price point they've held that attractive price point and that means the difference between the two is just 10 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees is not that big a stretch so should you make that jump there is no verdict to this test i can't possibly tell you buy the m340i over the 320 ld even though i desperately want to tell you that the 340i is so good to drive you should forget about everything else and just buy the 340i but the 320d also has its purpose for instance you can't sit in the back of the 340i it is tight and it is a bit stiff it is great to drive no question about it but not so great to be driven in but the 340i its genes its driving enthusiasm has also filtered down into the 320 ld even though this is the longer wheelbase it is still the nicest driving car in its category and it is great to both drive as well as be driven in bmw they still make the ultimate driving machines